Hi everyone, welcome to another problem on level 3 application of lines or rather the application of the concept of projection of lines and here we go. Goes like this, two oranges on a tree respectively 1.8 meter and 3 meter above the ground. So there are two oranges, one of which is at a height of 1.8 meters while the other is 3 meters high. Okay. And 1.2 meter and 2.1 meter from 0.3 meter thick wall but on the opposite side of it. Now guys, you need to read that statement once again. There is a wall, okay? One of the orange is in front of the wall while the other orange is on the opposite side of the wall. So on either side of the wall, there are oranges. One of which is 1.8 meter high uh, while the other is 3 meter high above the ground. So uh, you can just say one orange is in quadrant one while the other quadrant is right behind it. That is in quadrant number two. Now, this wall is 0 0.3 meter thick, okay? And secondly, what we do have is the distance between the origins measured along the ground and parallel to the wall. Now, if you're right in front, you can see both the origins. One will be in front of the wall while the other one will be behind the wall. Just think about this, okay? Try to visualize. You are watching this scenario from the front and there is a wall in front of you and the branch of trees such that one branch is falling outwards in front of the wall while the other branch is behind the wall. So in front of the wall there is an orange, let's say orange A and behind the wall also there is an orange that is orange B. And when you view it right from the front, what you see that the distance between those two oranges is equal to 2.7 meters. That's the distance that we've been given. Now I'm assuming that um, this wall has to be taken as transparent, then only you'll be able to see the orange behind. Okay, wall in fact is a vertical plane you can say. Now what we can do is, here we go, we need to take a scale. All the dimensions are in meters, so meter cannot be drawn on a drawing sheet. So we need to take the scale and the scale that I'll take up is 1 meter is equal to 2 centimeters. The dimensions are extremely small and you can see over here, we need to make 0 0.3 meter thick wall also. Okay, that can be seen from the top. Now guys, here is the deal. If I take 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter, this 0 0.3 meter will be 0 0.3 centimeter, which is an extremely small dimension. So in order to make sure that things are relevant and things can be seen and worked out pretty easily, what I have gone ahead and done is, I've taken this double scale, okay, 1 meter is equal to 2 centimeters. In that sense, this 0 0.3 meter will become 0 0.6, okay, centimeters. And this 1.8 and 3 will become 3.6 and 6 centimeters on the drawing sheet this 1.2 and 2.1 will become 2.4 centimeters and 4.2 centimeters on the drawing sheet and this fellow the distance when you look at this those two oranges from the front the distance that you will see is okay the apparent distance that you will see is double of this that is two uh, sorry 5.4 meters and here we go let's start so you've got to make a wall okay not exactly a wall you don't have to make these sort of bricks rather what i would suggest you to do is make a ground line above which there is a wall okay a hypothetical wall which after your drawing is made it will you can make that and the top of the wall has to be made the top of the wall shows its thickness so this thickness is 0 0.3 meters which on your drawing sheet you have to make it by 0 0.6 well centimeters okay so that's done well this gap can be taken as well, approximately 6 centimeters. This height can be taken as of the wall. Let's take it as 8 centimeters. This again, this you can take it as more than somewhere around 6 centimeters, 7 centimeters. So these are all approximations. I would suggest you right now to make this ground line and make this randomly of any distance length. But this thickness is fixed. How much? Double of this that is 0 0.6 centimeters. Okay. When we are right in front of the wall, suppose you are watching the there is a wall in front of you in front of which there is an orange and behind which there is an orange. So there is an orange A in front and there is an orange B behind the wall. So we've got to make the wall transparent, okay, in order to make sure that this problem works. So what we do have is orange A at a height of 1.8 meters. So from the ground, this is 1.8 meters. Let me make it. Now you are watching this from the front. Apparently what you see is that orange B is at a distance of how much 2.7 meters okay from orange a this distance has got to be 2.7 meters on your drawing sheet you will make this 
centimeters and from here you will have orange b how much high this is going to be 3 meter high that means on drawing sheet it is going to be 6 centimeters so you have got to remember all of this stuff secondly let's try to make the front and uh, let's try to make the top view of the oranges so one of which is in front of the wall while the other is behind the wall let's just assume orange a is in front of the wall and orange b is behind the wall so here we have it in front of the wall how much well it's in front by 1.2 meters so that's 1.2 meters along this same line and along the same line of b we'll have this how much behind well it's going to be 2.1 meters behind that's it now join the front views and join the top views so there you go once you have the front and top view it becomes extremely easy to find the true length rotate either the front view or the top view i don't know which rotation have i followed okay i'm going to be rotating the top view i'll fix this a and i'll rotate this b until this a b becomes absolutely horizontal this way this is the new position of b okay and now what you need to do is guys um you need to project this upwards and draw a horizontal line from here like this this is the new position that is b1 dash okay so that's new b1 and this is new b1 dash and when you join b1 dash with a dash you have the true length and that should precisely work out as uh, once you do the measurement keep your ruler over here scale over here it will work out as approximately 93 or 94 millimeters okay or even 92 millimeters plus minus 1 millimeter is absolutely acceptable don't worry and that's it on so this is uh, 9.3 centimeters and once you go for the conversion here you can clearly see that one centimeter is equal to half a meter according to the scale that we've formed so this is going to be how much this is 9.3 centimeters so 9.3 centimeters will become 9.3 multiplied by one centimeter is half a meter so just do this calculation and this is the value that you will get 4.65 meters so the actual distance between the two oranges is 4.65 meters so guys that was all for today i'll see you again in the next video thanks for watching